Good evening, ma'am. Good Hello. evening. Um, I'm not a stranger to this board. I've been here before. Um, I spoke against the Common Core. It was repealed in January. Around 2015, I spoke against what was happening with, student, with uh, teacher salaries. I was dismissed. And then it turned out that many people who sit on this board, starting with Superintendent Carvalho, began to advocate for referendum 362. I then, in my speeches, would mention names because you know people do have to be accountable. And I've been told that I can't mention names, even though there are other people who mention names, and they can go ahead and do it. There was an investigative report on TV. The uh, school board attorney stated that we can say names, and still I'm told I can't say names. Why am I prefacing what I came to speak today with all of this? Just to say that I think that history establishes that whenever I do say something, I seem, seem to be on the mark. I am currently experiencing a problem at my school that relates to my students, and I've asked to be able to see the student cumulative folders. I began by sending a letter, and these are the documents that I've been writing and drafting. I haven't sent them to all of you, but I will. But I have been sending them to Dr. Karp and Superintendent Carvalho to be able to access the student cumulative folders. And the reason why I'm here today is because after asking my immediate, not supervisor, but the lady that heads the department that I work for, she's denied my seeing the student cumulative folders. I then went to the principal. I was once again denied. I then went to the district. They have also echoed what the principal said. During that conversation, which was a telephone conversation, I requested a meeting. I was granted a meeting, which took place earlier today. And during that meeting, I was told by Mr. Bellow and my principal that clearly it seems to be a decision that's coming from the top. And I was even told that it's been referred to the attorneys. Now, when I read the school board policy, it says pers people, disclosure of student record information, it says without prior written consent, personally identifiable records or reports of a student may be released to the following persons. You go on and you read and it says teachers within the educational institution who have a legitimate educational interest. I have an educational interest. It's very clearly stated and I'm still being denied student uh, you know, access to the folders. Now, I do want to mention something. There's been a lot of talk here today about see something, say something. And, of course, it's linked to the, um, you know, gun violence and all that stuff. I get that we're talking about different issues because I'm talking about ESOL compliance matters. But I did hear in the context of school violence, at one point, I can't re recall exactly where, but that teachers have a duty and a right to be able to access Madam student Chair. cumulative folders in general. Because if there is Madam a student Chair. who has a mental health issue, we as employees at the school site have a right to be able to see what's in the folders and who are the people. Ms. Alvarez, your time is up. I know. But, you know, we get fingerprinted. We get fingerprinted, yeah, but the students I know don't. That you know, but I... So I would like for somebody to be able to come and talk to me about giving me access to student cumulative folders at my school site. I would really be grateful. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.